Hello, I'm Genevieve Lewis and welcome to Print 7 News, bringing you the latest stories from the last week in the print industry. Recently, Intech launched the latest addition to its cutting and creasing fleet. The SC5000 follows on from the FB8000 flatbed cutter and is a crossover of two machines. The new cutter is compact and automated and is ideal for greetings cards, swing tickets, small-scale packaging, point of sale and labels. Mark Baker Holmes, Director of Business Development at Intech, talked us through this machine. The demand in cutters has allowed Intech as a company to redirect some of its resources and we've invested heavily in our research and development area. Cutting is really allowing printers to adapt products to suit their customers' needs, something that the customer can't do in-house, and they can combine what they're good at. So they can print, they can use their digital copies or digital presses, and then produce something bespoke. We've spent quite a lot of time developing this device, um, and it, it's based a little bit on what we launched in 2019. In 2019, we launched the FB8000 at Vespa. Um, it was a flatbed, it was uh, an automated flatbed, and it was one of the first of its kind. But as you can see, it's quite a large device, um, and some of the customers just couldn't fit it into their print environments. Um, and at just around about the £10,000 price point, some of the customers aren't quite sure how much print business and cut business they're going to do with it. So they're looking to get into cutting and die cutting and sheet label production at maybe a more affordable price point. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to take the development um, from our higher end flatbed and automated devices and trickle it down into something that was a little bit more affordable, that small printers could really embrace and that they could really build their print business from. We tried to take some of the um, advantages that you see with the flatbed technology and some of the advantage you see with vinyl cutting technology and blend them both into one product. One of the areas that we've looked at is that a lot of customers want to be able to cut and to truly crease. Um, to truly crease, you can't use a blade because if you use a blade, you'll open up the fibers on the board or the print on the board as you fold it. So this device has two tools um, with a cutting head very similar to our um, flatbed technology. So this trickles down from our flatbed technology. We have a cutting tool just here, and then we have a double-ended creasing tool here, so it can crease laminated or it can crease card-related products. It also uses the eighth generation Vision 3 sensor, which allows us to automatically retrieve jobs for true unattended operation. So you can stack jobs up in the feeder. It will read the job's QR code and automatically cut it and crease it for you and eject it just here. And your job just pops out of your sheet. And you've got nice deep crease lines there, making it really easy to fold your job. As well as the dual tool cutting head, we've spent quite a lot of time on the feeding system because printers want something very reliable they can put in the corner of their shop and they can leave it to get on and do the job. In the actual feeder, we can stack up to um, approximately 90 millimeters worth of material. It's about 15 kilograms worth of stock or um, approximately um, 1,000 um, sheets. Um, each sheet will have a QR code on it and we can have different QR codes on each job. It will read the job as it goes in um, and as soon as we've stacked up our sheet with the number that we actually want, the tray will automatically raise. It will set the height based upon the number of sheets that are there and then we use a vacuum belt to pick up the sheet. It jogs the sheet by moving it back and then advances it forwards to make sure it's fully separated the sheet and there are no sheets hanging on and then it will go ahead and cut our job for us. We designed this machine to work in any print shop with any skilled operator. So even if the sheet is placed the opposite way round into the device, it will read the opposite QR code and auto-rotate your cut file so your jobs are still cut correctly. So one of the other things that we're aware of is a lot of printers don't have a lot of space. So once they've finished cutting all their jobs and you've finished for the day, all you need to do is simply fold down the retractable exit tray close the tray and then it comes with special wheels so that you can simply roll it back away and store it. 
That's all for this week's Print 7 News, but for now, you can stay up to date with all of the latest news in the industry at printmonthly.co.uk, view much more video content at print7tv.com, or you can join in with the conversation on Twitter and LinkedIn. We'll see you next week.